Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie, and today is August 7th. And we're going to be reading from Each Day New Beginning. Grateful that you're here with me. And um, so we're just filling in the blanks that I hadn't done last year and um, moving on. And then we'll have other books uh, that are available here. We do have other books that are already read here. And um, those are in the description below. So um, you can check those out if you go on to the main page. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Let's see what we got. I just read it first time with you. So it's my butt here to read and it helps me. So I don't know, I'm gonna take whatever, whatever help I'm willing to get for myself and this works for me. All right, so it starts off with a quote from Evelyn Scott. To have one's individuality completely ignored is like being pushed right out of life like being blown out as one blows out a light. To have one's individuality completely ignored is like being pushed quite out of life, like being blown out as one blows out a light. So that's Evelyn Scott saying that. So onward, it says, we need to know that we matter in this life. We need evidence that others are aware of our presence. And thus we can be certain that others need the same attention from us. When we give it, we get it. So the giving of attention to another searching soul meets our own need for attention as well. Something to think about. So respectful re uh, recognition of another's presence blesses them, ourselves, and God. And we help one another grow in important ways each time we pay the compliment of acknowledgement. It's a compliment to acknowledge, right? So we're not sure on occasion just what we have to offer our friends or our family or our coworkers right? So why are we in certain circumstances may have been, again, why we are in certain circumstances may have been baffled, but it's quite probably that the people we associate with regularly need something we can give them, right? So the reverse is just as likely, right? So we can Begin with close attention to people in our path. It takes careful listening. It takes close observation to sense the message another soul may be sending to our own. Right, so presence. I will be conscious of the people around me. I shall acknowledge them and be thankful for all they are offering me. Respectful recognition of another's presence blesses them, ourselves, and God, the universe, whatever you see it as. The... And I help when, um, I help others grow in important ways each time I pay the compliment of acknowledgement. So um, I like to change certain readings into first person so that I can acknowledge it and like be that reading. You know, you know, it's I I know like for me saying we or us or them. You know, that's, that's something, but I found that I can connect closer to a reading when I embody it 
and use I. So maybe when I'm saying that, you can imagine that that's coming, like what I'm saying is you're saying it. Like if I say I need to know that I matter in this life. You can embody that by listening to that as if you're saying that. I, we, I need to know that I, we matter in this life. We need evidence that others are aware of our presence. I need evidence that others are aware of my presence. And thus, I can be certain that others need the same attention from me. And thus, we can be certain that others need the same attention from us. When I give it, I get it. When we give it, we get it. So the giving of attention to another searching soul meets my own need for attention as well. So the giving of attention to another searching soul meets my, our own need for attention as well. Yeah. So I'm not sure on occasion just what I have to offer my friends or family or coworkers. Why I am in certain circumstances may have me baffled, um, but it's quite probably that the people I associate with regularly need something I can give them. And the reverse is likely as well. So I can begin with close attention to people in my path. It takes careful listening and close observation to sense the message another soul may be sending to my own. I will be conscious of the people around me and acknowledge them and be thankful for all they are offering me. And, you know, first and foremost, myself to me. And then the people that I'm with all the time, my family, my friends, my partners, um, my coworkers, you know, I think that's, for me, I feel and I think and I do my best to act, do my actions based on that premise. So this way my life is feeling more successful for that moment. And so that's all I have for that. Um, I got to speak to um, my daughter today, which was great. And um, I'm wearing the earrings that she got for me. I wore those today at work. And I, I just like, I just like how they, they're just really light. And I just love thinking of her. And she knows I love green. And um, well, you can tell with the tattoo, too, I have a lot of green going on. I just love green. I was thinking about um, how um, there's a, a time in my life I was really sad all the time. And I was grasping for things that I can just hold on to for a second to bring some joy into my, my heart and green plants and trees seem to be what I, I was like, okay, there, I can feel the difference by looking at them. So I think that's where the depth of that uh, despair and um, searching, you know, after a while, like when you don't know what makes you happy, you know, and um, get to um, a point sometimes where where for me I got to a point I didn't know what made me happy at all 
and um, I felt that um, discontent and despair. And, um, you know, they say that that's part of having, um, you know, that generational growing up with that distorted thinking that um, alcoholism or addiction or abuse, trauma, like, you know, you, you have that as a human. Um, and um, if you lose yourself and um, you're like, what do I even, what kind of food do I even like? What kind of, what does, what do I, you know, what do I really like? What do I really love? And um, little by little, um, we can find that out. So anyhow, um, all right, I'll go ahead and end there. It's a little heavy, feeling heavy now. <laughs> sometimes things feel heavier. Sometimes days feel heavier than others, but um, I love you guys. And I will be here again tomorrow, God willing, with another reading from this book. It's a recovery-based book. And um, uh, let's go ahead and say the serenity prayer together, okay? Take a nice deep breath in and out. Feel grounded here. You're okay. Even if you don't, even if you're not okay, it's okay. Right? Things change. And, you know, they're hard. You know, acceptance is key for that. Um, so here we go. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Right? Very good. All right. So um, keep coming back. It works if you work it and you're worth it. You're loved. I love you. And I will see you, God willing, tomorrow with another reading. Okay? All right. Like, thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. And share this uh, content with somebody who may benefit. Okay.